This is a breakdown of Blaze AI, an all-in-one content tool built for creators. I've been testing it across my workflow, and in this video, I'll show you what it does well, where it struggles, and whether it's actually worth using. Quick heads up though, if you want to check it out for yourself, there's a link in the description, or you can scan the QR code on screen. That'll get you the best price Blaze AI is offering right now. So why did I try Blaze in the first place? I create content across YouTube, social, newsletters, and blog posts, and keeping up with it all was getting out of hand. I was bouncing between half a dozen tools, one for writing, another for SEO, another for planning. It worked, kind of, but it wasn't efficient. I needed something that could actually streamline the process. Someone mentioned Blaze in a creator group I'm part of, and I figured, let's see if it's legit. The first thing I tested was its AI-powered content generation. You can give it a topic, prompt, or even a rough idea, and Blaze gives you multiple versions to choose from. It's not just decent, it's actually solid. I ran it through a few YouTube video outlines, a couple email intros, and some short form social content. And more often than not, I only needed to tweak a few lines. No filler, just some occasional awkward phrasings. It gets close to done. But what really impressed me was the brand voice customization. You can upload samples of your existing content, scripts, posts, blog articles, and Blaze will adjust its writing to sound more like you. I gave it a few newsletters and a past video transcript, and after that, the content it generated started to actually sound familiar. Not robotic, not like it was trying too hard, just me, but faster. Now, if SEO matters to your content strategy, Blaze has built-in suggestions as you write. It checks for keyword usage, headline strength, and readability. I wouldn't say it replaces full-scale SEO tools, but if you're trying to hit the basics and keep things optimized while writing, it's incredibly useful. It saves a lot of jumping back and forth between apps. Another feature I've been using a lot is the content calendar. <laughs> it's simple, but smart. And you can plan out weekly or monthly posts, drag and drop ideas, and even generate new content based on gaps in your schedule or trending topics in your niche. Having planning and creation in one spot huge time saver. Now for the downsides, first, Blaze is solid for short and mid form content, but if you're working on long blog posts like 2000 words and up, you'll probably still need to step in and restructure some things. It's not bad, but it's not quite there yet in terms of coherence at scale. Second, the UI takes a bit of time to learn. It's packed with features, which is great once you get going, but that first 30 minutes can feel a little overwhelming. So who's this really for? Well, if you're a solo creator, freelancer, or small team trying to stay consistent without burning out, Blaze makes a lot of sense. It cuts out the tool switching, gets you better first drafts, and helps you plan ahead. If you're already deep into an agency setup or enterprise content stack, this might feel too lightweight. But for most creators, it hits the right balance. Now, if you want to try Blaze AI yourself, click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. It'll get you the best price they've got live right now. Well, I hope this helped. Let me know what you're using in your content workflow, especially if you found something that actually makes the process easier.